Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Nate Tracy, an application specialist here at the company. Today, Nate will be talking to us about OpenStreetMap vector data in Global Mapper. All right, Nate, take it away. So here in Global Mapper, I have a shapefile of the District of Columbia loaded um, as my uh, study area. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select it with the digitizer and click here on the Connect to Online Data tool. Uh, here we're looking for the OpenStreetMaps.org vector map download, uh, which is underneath the worldwide data list. Uh, I'll go ahead and click Connect, and that's going to pull me right into the OpenStreetMap uh, export menu directly in my web browser. Um, so in this case, maybe we want a vector map of the National Arboretum in Northeast DC. So I'm just going to zoom in to that study area and then click Export. Uh, and right away, uh, OpenStreetMap is going to export that as a .osm file, which I can then open uh, directly in Global Mapper. So if I zoom in now uh, to this data, we can see that it's downloaded uh, much of the vector data in the Arboretum, as well as uh, a lot of data outside of it. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is crop out the data that I don't want. Um, so what I'm going to do is select the boundary polygon, uh, defining the extent of the Arboretum and then I'm, with the digitizer, and then I'm just going to right click, oops, try that again, select it, and I'm just going to right click and go to crop combine split functions and select crop, um, and I want to save these to a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer called National Arboretum and click OK. And that's going to crop out all of that data that I don't want. Um, as you can see, uh, much of the vector data uh, that came uh, was already styled uh, with style designations that are recognized by Global Mapper. Uh, we can use the Feature Info tool, for example, and see uh, buildings. Um, and go, it will come with uh, attribute information from OpenStreetMap, such as uh, the user, uh, when it was last edited. Uh, if it's got an address, it's going to include that. Uh, feature ID, um, but we've got some features here that are undefined or unknown. Um, looks like these might be trees. Um, so one thing we can do uh, to really quickly and easily add style information to those is going to be first to split this layer up by feature type. Um, and that's going to divide this up into all of the feature types that are in the data that we downloaded. And I'm just going to find uh, all of the unknown point features here. I can go ahead and select them uh, automatically with the digitizer. And by opening the attribute editor, we can now do a vector feature search to look for all of the features uh, in that selection that are categorized as trees. So we look uh, for the ID. That's going to be the attribute called natural. I'm going to select and create a query where natural is equal to and load those values and see that tree is the only option we can choose from. I'm going to click search. It's going to find those and I'm just going to select them and then again copy and paste them to uh, a new layer. We'll call this layer trees. Now I can add this layer uh, back into the group of features in the National Arboretum and really easily we can change the style for that just by double clicking on the layer finding the feature types uh, we can see right now it's classified as an unknown point feature but from that list i can select tree click ok and uh, tell it yes to assign uh, the drawing style for the new type to the features click yes and as we can now see all of those points are now uh, classified as tree icons Thank you, Nate, for that information. I know that our users will find it very useful. If you're interested in Global Mapper or Global Mapper Pro, please visit bluebubblegeo.com today. And as always, join us for next time.